This is weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. This is fucking weird, and I don't like it. Warning, the people in this show are trained, uh, sc scared boy professionals, and they know how to deal with scary things. But if you don't, and you're under the age of 13, and you get scared easily, don't watch it. Thanks. Looks like I'm gonna fall <laughs> It's not long before Natsuki comes up to me expectantly. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I get my promise. Oh, I've totally forgot about that. Oh, yeah. I pulled the first volume of Parfait Girls up. What if, like, bag. the entire, like, second part of that, like, that entire bit, we'd have to, like, read the book and actually, like, <laughs> yeah. memorize it? Natsuki takes it from my hands, then quickly turns it over, presumably to check for wrinkles. <laughs> and I'm not that careless. I handle manga all the time, you know. I just wanted to make sure. Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't yes. get people in my manga every day, you know. That's true. I don't blame you. Well, anyway, let me put this one back. I'm gonna get the next one, okay? Natsuki makes her way to the closet. I follow. So you're gonna tell me everything you thought, right? Where did this volume leave off again? I forget. Uh, the chapter ended when Minori and Alice found... Monica! Natsuki's voice resonates out from inside the closet. Huh? I peer inside. All of Natsuki's books are lined up on the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? Uh, sorry, sorry. The teacher got mad at me for taking up so much space in her closet, so I had to move some stuff around and clean up a little bit. It's all still there. I just had to organize it a bit. Ah, the top shelf is far above Natsuki's head. She makes a futile hop, trying to figure out how to reach her manga. Jeez. This is so inconvenient. I'm moving these all back down. There's plenty of room on these shelves. And besides, they're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Why would you waste that on the top shelf? Uh, Natsuki. There's a stool on the wall over there. Wait, what? In the closet, thanks. There's a collapsible stool that's hanging on the wall. If you want, I can reach up there and hand it to you. I can get them myself. Natsuki grabs the stool from the wall and unfolds it. Gross, You think stool. I'm too short or something? I mean, I knew it. Well, you know what? Just watch me. Natsuki hops onto the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because of its collapsible design. <laughs> <laughs> uh, careful. I know what I'm doing. Standing on the stool, Natsuki's fingertips reach the top shelf. The stool would be enough for me to easily grab the books, but Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki uses her fingers to scoot one of the smaller boxes to the edge of the shelf. See? Kia! <laughs> the box suddenly Kia! drops. Natsuki barely catches it before it falls to the floor. The stool wobbles. <laughs> Losing balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. She holds the box triumphantly. There. Having almost fell, she's a little bit shaken up. Jeez, no need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'll be able to get the bigger boxes like that. I can reach them, so just... I said I can do it. I don't want your help, okay? Uh, I'm gonna go get a chair, so just hang on. Natsuki forces her way past me out of the closet. Let's see. Classroom chairs have the desks attached, so they're too inconvenient to fit into the closet. Aha. Uh -huh. Natsuki trots over to the teacher's desk, which has a computer chair behind it. She rolls it on its wheels back over to the closet. Uh, it's a little dangerous since the chair swivels and rolls. But I've already learned my lesson, so I keep my mouth shut. People can shut. Hush. Natsuki climbs onto the chair, then People slowly can climb. balances onto her feet. <laughs> since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. <laughs> <laughs> the face you're giving me is just like, mm, you know. <laughs> you know, I wonder if. Mm -hmm. I guess if we'd written poems for the other people, it would be doing like stuff with them right now. I don't know. Probably. Maybe. What is that? Oh, it's uh, it's a dude. It's Leonardo da Vinci drew him. Interesting. Yeah. I drew a picture of him. <laughs> uh -huh. As well. There we go. See, I can easily do it now. Natsuki grabs a stack of manga and bends down to put it on the shelf below. Mmm. Wah. The chair swivels. Natsuki catches herself on the shelf. What are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair steady instead of sitting and doing nothing? 
Who was it that told me not to help? <laughs> bitch. I'm bitch. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I hold the chair while Natsuki reaches back up. Ooh. I can I can almost see up her skirt. <laughs> I force myself to turn away. Natsuki seriously didn't think this through. Once she realizes I'll be dead. Hup. Natsuki This can easily be the... solved by saying like, hey, uh, I can kind of see your skirt right now, so I'm just going to look away. Yeah. There we go. Now I can't see anything. Natsuki wraps her arms around the parfait girl's box set. Easily the largest one on the shelf. Heavy. Hey, Captain. I don't think I can bend down without falling. Hurry and take this one. Huh? But then I have to let go of the chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry up. All right. Let me just stand up. I slowly release my grip from the chair. What do you mean stand up? Natsuki looks down at me. Why are you all the way back? Huh? Natsuki looks like she just realized something, but she'll lose her balance if she moves. Natsuki, the box. Oh, doki doki means like the heart's beating. That's the sound, like the Japanese sound of the heart. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, so that makes even more sense to the title and like yeah. the miss. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? Wait, does that mean, does that mean Monica's a vampire? The, you're trying to look at my Natsuki's legs shake I'm not I was just Natsuki don't try to move just give me the box you perv you set me up go away get out but I'll do it myself ah the chair suddenly swivels beneath Natsuki's feet Natsuki Kia <laughs> the scene I just imagine like someone like kicking whenever you say that yeah. Kia <laughs> The scene turns to chaos in a split second. The chair flies from under Natsuki's feet. Frantically, I try to catch her. The box topples out of her hands. She, she's shaking a lot. Flying. Yeah. I got you. Crash. The full force of Natsuki's body against me throws me to the ground. A whole bunch of books pelt me in the face. <laughs> Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms as her face lands straight on my chest. <clears throat> my right arm and my back seriously felt the impact. Ooh. Slowly, Natsuki comes to her senses. Guck. She presses her arm straight into me to prop herself up. Huh? Natsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor that's beneath her. Goo. Gross, gross. Gack. A fist pounds into my chest. Natsuki then hoists herself to her feet. What were you thinking, you sicko? Everything okay over here? I heard a loud noise. It sounded like someone saying, Kia! Monica suddenly peers in. Monica, see what happens when you put the manga on the top shelf? Are you trying to kill your club members or something? Jeez. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. It seems like your most recent club member is a total pervert. So I hope you're happy. I didn't... Somehow it's impossible for me to explain this whole bizarre situation to Monica. I didn't do anything, I swear. I know, I know. I was watching the whole thing. <laughs> I see everything. I see all. Monica says that quietly to me. Looks like I'm off the hook. Oh no. My, my hook! My, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I look down. Natsuki's kneeling on the floor, holding one of the books that are scattered all over. There's a large diagonal crease along the no! page. No! It's, it's like Darth Vader. Trying. No! <laughs> That's just desperately trying to smooth out. I must have landed on the page. Natsuki tries a bit more to flick the crease, but she can't get it out. Suddenly, she gives up and slams the book shut, then throws it to the floor. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. Sob. Damn. <laughs> Natsuki, are you... No. Natsuki's voice squeaks. I see tears on her face. Uh, I'll help get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so... I'm That's borrowing these from the library. If they're fine, I'll kill me. <laughs> That's she'll, they'll break my knees. <laughs> Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. No, I don't even care that much. My library's in a bad neighborhood. I'm just having a really bad day today. Natsuki sobs again. I didn't mean to take it out on you. I really didn't mean to. It's fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her head. Just every day... It's so hard. It's every day, bro. I just want to come to the club and Natsuki falls silent again. Just want to come to the club and get lit, <laughs> get turned. I can't press her, so I can only do what I want, what I know how to do. 
All right. Well, I'll clean this up. I'll move the rest of your manga for you. Ah. Why do you say ah? I pick oh. up volume two of Parfait Girls. We'll set this one aside. This will help cheer you up for a bit, right? We can get started on it once I'm done here. Natsuki looks up with her glossy eyes. Her lip quivers. You're... You're really nice to me. That's how it starts. <laughs> That's the text. That's... Let's set aside for yeah. just a second. Alright, pause. Pr put a pause thing on, on the... That sounds really strange coming from Natsuki. I didn't expect it at all. Well, I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? Mm. Natsuki lowers her, he her head and stifles another sob. And rifles it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is the least I could do. What else? <laughs> <laughs> the next couple minutes are silent between us as I begin gathering the scattered books. I make sure to slip them into the box in their correct order. After a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. It isn't long before we're done, and I hoist the box onto the shelf where Natsuki wanted to put it. Then I get on the stool and quickly finish moving the rest of the books <laughs> from the top shelf. All right, that should do it. I hop off the stool. <laughs> Natsuki averts her gaze. Thanks. That's hopping up. Uh -huh. It's nothing. Natsuki is holding the volume I set aside in her hands. All right, I'm ready. Good. Even if you weren't, I'd make you anyway. You're taking I'd make responsibility you ready. for what you said. The thing about cheering me up. If you insist. We sit in the same spot as last time and I open the second volume. I'm really into this game. Mm -hmm. like, me too, I love it. Like I'm getting attached. Uh -huh. To these characters? Yeah. Yeah. I wish this girl was real. <laughs> <laughs> I wish hey, this yo, was how it you know, We got that VR chat. Natsuki's mood and quickly improves, laughing and pointing things out to me. She's surprisingly sharp, making note of a lot of subtle repeated jokes and background elements. In the end, I'm pretty impressed by how everything ties together in this manga. I guess Natsuki has good taste after all. After some time, Monica gets our attention as usual and it's time to share poems again. Guess I'll be holding on to this for now. Yep. Even you sound more enthusiastic this time. Well, I'm starting to get into it, you know. Ehehe. <laughs> Told you. Yeah, yeah. I return to my seat and slip the book into my bag. Who should I show my poem to first? Same order as last time. Uh, sure. Or do you want to mix it up? Uh, let's go Monica first. Demon Witch. I, I again, Captain. Why was I reading that? <laughs> She's controlling my mind. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. Bitch. Bitch! <laughs> I'm happy that you're applying yourself. You are not my mother. You better turn down right now. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> it's the, that burrito. It's that baby I ate earlier. <laughs> maybe you'll... Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't count on that. You'll never know. You want to share what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. Uh, I get my poem to Monica. Alright, it's pretty good, you know, for a imbecile. <laughs> <laughs> for a mortal. You've been spending some time with Natsuki, haven't you? You must like her writing style. She's like, taking notes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think it's a neat way to tell a story. Do, they, do the other characters blink? Yeah, they do, because they close their eyes. Because I don't think Monica blinks. She's never closed her eyes. She's never once. closed. Oh my god, that's creepy. That's weird. If if she's closed, because I'm gonna edit this later. Yeah. Uh, put a little thing in here. Blank counter. Blank. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki's. Oh, that's you. Oh, Naku, Natsuki's poems. Natsuki. Natsuki. <laughs> Natsuki's poems may be cute. Sorry for like butchering these names, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Rip. Or two. I think we put a disclaimer in the first one. Oh yeah. Have you edited the first one at all? I uh, no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, poems may be cute, but they're also meaningful. I can see why you'd be into that style. I guess that means you're not as much of a fan as Yuri's poems, then. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I kind of like everyone's poems. I'm kind of like the all man, you know, like <laughs> the, like the person that anyone can fit into. The middle man. The silent character. 
How long have we been recording? Uh, like an hour twenty five minutes. Cool. Yeah. That's true, but I'm sure you like some more than others, right? You've got to have some preferences. You've got to like someone more than the other. You have to choose. Choose your fate. Choose your destiny. The choice is yours. <laughs> you have, have some sort of preference, don't you? Oh, never mind. Okay, okay oh, yeah. She, oh, yeah, she did. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, not that it's a contest or anything. I was just curious, that's all. That would make it really creepy. Like, the yeah. entire game, she didn't blink. Yeah. But anyway... You want to read my poem now? No, bitch. I like the way this one turned out. So I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Sorry, my bad. Some wind flew in. <laughs> Save me. Oh, God. This is, this, is, this is like Tiny Rick. <laughs> the colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. This is like the Logan Paul videos. Like, I can see color for the first time. What? Did you not see that? Was that a was he legit? Was that a real video? No, it was completely fake. Like he wow. totally like faked the entire thing. Wow, fuck him. Yeah, That's but shitty. it was hilarious. <laughs> Red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise that won't stop. Violent grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sign, cosine, tangent. Like playing in a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. What the fuck is this? Is this some kind of robot? That's creepy. Cause save me, load me. Like save me is like, yeah, you know, uh, like you save and then you load the poem. It's it. Mm, it's even more abstract than your last one, huh? It's real fucking creepy. <laughs> I guess you could say it's the way I write. I'm sorry. I if don't. If you don't like it, it's creepy. No, I never said that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of liked it playing with my space on the paper. Is that what they call it? Toying these days? with <laughs> <laughs> Choosing where and how the, to space your words can totally change the mood of a poem. It's almost like magic, dark magic, evil blood, drawing. <laughs> okay. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to squeak over the noise. I speak, but... Oh, no, sorry. Whatever. I, <laughs> I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes, asking what a poem is isn't the right question. It's what a poem will be. Or so. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with a reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Bitch, shut your ass up. How about that? Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Want it. Can we skip this? No. Fine. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When writing half when that happens, you'll forget to save your your game. Save the game. Save the game. Save the game. Save the game. That's a hint. That's a hint. Mm -hmm. Could just say hint. Oh, oh wait. I don't know what's gonna happen. It just said save game, so I was assuming. That's pretty weird. It's like you need to save your game. Is that correct? Yep. That's what? weird. What? That, that it says that. Don't forget to save your game. Yeah, I feel like some creepy shit's about to happen. But actually... Yeah? Oh, never mind, it's lame. Huh? You never know when you might you change your mind. You never know when you might change your mind. Don't fucking talk over me. Are you reading my mind, you fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Or when something unexpected may happen. This is weird. <laughs> I don't like I don't like it. Wait. Is this tip even about writing? Simon, what's happening right now? <laughs> no, no, really. What's happening right now? What do you mean? Do you know what's happening right now? I feel like you do. No, of course not. Not at all. This is fucking weird. I don't like it. Not at all. I, I can make that the 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 cold intro. <laughs> this is really creeping me out. What am I even talking about? <sighs> That's it, like demon sex being in your mouth. Keep press it. That was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's my advice for today. <laughs> Zach is just like a mile away from the mouse. Thanks for listening. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Great. I'm glad we chose that one first. I'm not glad. I, uh, I don't know. Jesus. That was fucking creepy, yeah. dude. Yeah. Like, do you know real? Like, do you know what's happening yeah, no, right no. now? You uh, do. I know some of it. Like, I've seen some stuff. Like, uh, like I know that like it can get weird, but like it cannot get weird depending on the like game scary play. weird. I'm not sure. Like, I've just heard that there's like a lot of different endings. Uh. Yeah. Uh. That was gross. I don't like it. 